<laughs> hey, 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 guys, it's me, Simon, back again for another rainbow brush on how to draw. Today, we're drawing some 80s tech equipment for you. I'll just explain that for you. 80s tech equipment means stuff from the 1980s. That seems like ages ago. Were dinosaurs around in the 1980s? No, 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 no. Right, first of all, I'm not going to tell you what we're drawing. I'm going to let you guess this one for a little while, but I'll give you some clues. Hmm? Um, it makes a ringing noise. In this day and age, you can text your friends on it. You can send them SMS messages. You can send them messenger messages. You can send them pictures of yourself. Yes, that's right. It's a mobile telephone. Now, in the 1980s, mobile telephones didn't quite look like they do today. These days, they look like little computers, don't they? Mummy and Daddy got a mobile phone? Have you got a mobile phone yet? If you are, you're very lucky if you've got a mobile phone now. So this is what they looked like in the 1980s. Little known fact about the telephone for you. Did you know the word hello is actually it was made only for the use of something to say when people answered the telephone? Because otherwise they had nothing to say. You'd answer the telephone and go, um, who is it? So the, the, the word hello was made up purely for the telephone. True story that. Right, I'm going to show you something now that you're all probably, you, you probably never used this. This was around long, long time ago, 1980s. Nineteen eighty five. How many years ago was that? Wow. This is called a cassette tape. Now a cassette tape is what people used to listen to music on. Way before CDs and MP3s and MP4s and all the technology that's around today. These cassette tapes were probably about the same size as your mobile phone today, but used to record music on a big cassette player. Two big buttons you used to press, big buttons. Everything was big in the 1980s. Right, this here is going to be, I'm not going to tell you. Is it a book? Does it look like a book? It could be a book. If you squared off all the corners, this is what a book would look like lying down. We'll have some books somewhere on Rainbow Brush and how to draw books. Look at the perspective I've got there. It looks like the drawing is lying down a little bit. Oh, look what it is. This is a good old fashioned game. It's called the Nintendo Game Boy. All the PlayStations that are around now and the Xboxes, this was the original one. I used to carry it around in your hand. It was yellow. The original ones were yellow. You used to little, little tiny little cassettes that you used to put in the top. And you could play games. You could play Mario Brothers on there and Sonic the Hedgehog. You still got Sonic the Hedgehog today. But they were tiny. The Game Boy, they were great. On the very first ones that came out, they had no colour on the screen. They only had black and white on the screen. They were amazing. But everybody had one. And if you didn't have one, you wanted one. Any idea what this is? I'll tell you now. The long square down the middle is a little visual display for you where you would guess the frequency that you're going to choose. The play buttons, the back buttons, the forward buttons. It's a mobile radio there for you. This that we're drawing now, you see the cassette tape that's at the top of the screen up there? What we're drawing now is called a Walkman. It was at the time made by a company called Sony. It was called the Sony Walkman. And what you did, you put your cassette tape inside the Sony Walkman you plug your headphones in, we'll do your little headphone socket in a second. And then you could listen to it, it was your personal cassette player. Nobody else could hear it, only you could hear it. You could have it on the bus, in the car, listen to it in your bedroom at night. Put whatever, whatever music was on your cassette. You could just pop in there and listen to your favourite songs from, I don't know, all your favourite groups. It's cool. Ready? There's a little headphone socket there. Left a little gap to put the headphone socket in. Ready? Don't get the wire, don't get the wire. Where's the wire? There we go, there's a wire going on the back. That would go to a pair of headphones that you put on your ears. Two things they did, they kept your ears warm in the winter. 
and also made it so that you could listen to your music and nobody else could hear it. The Sony Walkman. In the 1980s, these were very, very popular and also in the 1980s, very, very expensive. But again, it's one of those items that if you didn't have one, everybody wanted one. And they were quite big. They were about the same size as a, an adult's hand. They were quite big. If you think of today with the MP3 players, they are getting really tiny, aren't the MP3 players now? Get them a few centimetres square. As he went to the 1990s, everything seemed to get smaller. Wow. Now here's something that every house used to have in the 1980s and everybody used to use. But in this day and age, not many people use them now because the mobile phone's taken over. Have you got a landline in your house? I still remember our very, very first phone number. It was only four letters long, our very first phone number. You used to have a proper telephone. You used to have that curly wire on there and you could only go about, about a metre away from your phone. Brilliant. So we'll just highlight the edges of these pictures in a, a nice highlighter pen, make it nice and thick. The thicker lines around the edge, which we've spoken about before on Rainbow Brush, uh, sometimes that means that you're allowed to overlap when you're colouring in and it doesn't smudge, which is cool. But you must always make sure the outline of your drawing is dry before you start colouring in, otherwise you'll get a smudge marks on it. All the important buttons are there, look at that, little reds and greens, stop and start, up and down. The Nintendo Game Boy, wow, I remember those. I used to have one, they were great. I spent hours on my Nintendo Game Boy. Sat with my friends in the park just on the Game Boy. It was great. So we had a uh, little mobile phone, a cassette tape, Sony Walkman, a radio, and a landline. 1980s tech. So that's it from Rainbow Brush for now. So from me, Simon, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time.